Hello YouTube, my name is Eric Legault and maybe you don't know me yet, but I'm a French teacher from uh, Paris, France and I'd like to show you today a special song Could you stop the accordion please? Thank you. I'd like to show you today um, Too Old to Die Young uh, from uh, Brother Dej or Brother Dej, I don't know how to say uh, I, I just uh, fell in love with this piece, uh, it's fantastic uh, For this you will need a bottleneck uh, made of steel or glass, steel is better, and uh, capo too, and we'll have a special tuning, tuning, sorry, called uh, open E. Uh, so I'm gonna show you uh, how to do uh, everything in details, and uh, hope you'll get my English. This is the first time I'm uh, um, recording in English. I made uh, already uh, more than 150 uh, lessons in French, but uh, this is my first English, so uh, be nice to me, please. Uh, let's go. So, about this open E tuning, uh, I got myself in the standard one and you, we're gonna do it together. So, uh, this string is a E most of the time. Uh, we'll stand this one as a E because this is an open E. <laughs> uh, this string uh, actually is an A and we'll need the B, so we're going to high it up to the B it's going up going up game and we got a B then we'll need a E most of the time this is a D so same thing hi 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 and I've got a E uh, then <coughs> this string is a G and we need a, a G sharp G sharp yeah so, hanging up to the sharp G, going up, uh, got it, and the um, this one is a B and staying a B. <laughs> now it's a B, and the last one is a E two. We're still in open E. Then, when you get uh, this uh, um, selection. <laughs> It's, it should sound like this, like a E chord in standard tuning, but without fingers. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, okay, then you get your capo, and you put it on the third fret. Get, and it's becoming a G chord. So it's like we were in an open G. Uh, you you can check to. Uh, to be sure, because sometimes with the capo, uh, the strings are not very uh, um, on the good uh, high. I'm sorry about uh, the noise. It's outside. Uh, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't. I can't do anything about this. Though I'm gonna talk louder and louder. So, and we're ready to start. So in these songs, we have four parts. Uh, here's the first one that I'm gonna do in two sections. 
about the bottleneck, um, you just uh, uh, place it like this. Don't do till the end of your finger because sometimes we'll need to, to curve it a little bit and it will be, I think, a little bit hard uh, if it's too down on your finger. Right? Okay, let's go. So, you uh, put your first finger on the first uh, fret of the G string. Uh, I'm keeping the name of the um, of the standard tuning, okay? Uh, otherwise, it will be a little bit complicated. So, uh, first uh, fret on the G string, um, and you will keep all the way long. So, uh, first knot, uh, pinky, <laughs> always. That's cool to say pinky. Thank you, Marty Schwartz. Uh, you put your pinky on the third fret of the G string, yeah, and it goes like this. Only the melody in this first section, then uh, we will put clothes on uh, on this. So, third, then first string with your index here. Donc, uh, three, three, one, then three on the on the D string, three, three, one, three, one again, G string, three, D string, zero, D string, and a third uh, fret again. On the G string, and we got the first bar. Okay, this note is gonna be a little bit longer, uh, then we'll keep the the sound and uh, get further. So uh, first bar and the second one. Long. Then again three, one, three D string, one, three, o oh, o oh, zero zero, and we got the uh, two bars. Uh, we have four in this. Uh, in this part A, the, uh, again from the beginning and next I'm going down there. Three, one, three, one, three, zero, zero, then one again, three, like the first bar, three, three, one, three, one, three, zero, and three. This is the little difference between the, the first bar. It's gonna be a little bit longer too. And then the last bar, three, again D string, zero, three, A string, and then one G string with your index, three, G string, one. And that's it. Uh, uh, the third and fourth bars, long. Okay, the f uh, the fourth bars in a row. Trois, trois, quatre. Long. Oh. Then. Long. Okay, then we're gonna put his clothes on. The first hit, you, you get all the string down. Oh, with the third fret. Ah, cool. And you do it strong and loud. Then uh, we will get each time at least two, co uh, two strings at a time. Uh, so. Uh, Right. What did I do? Uh, well, first hit, then I get my third uh, fret now on the G string, and I get the G, the B string, the open B string too. Couple of notes every time. When you need the third fret on the G string, you will get this one, and you will hit the G string below. So. Uh, Okay, you always uh, play uh, the string below. Long. Right, 
third bar. Long. Okay, when you play in uh, real life, um, maybe you will hit strings above or um, around. Uh, it's not too bad, but uh, try not to hit everything uh, all the time because it's too uh, too loud and too ugly. Last time this part A and this was the most difficult one of this song. Long. Why you why you don't need this long no. Alright Brother Dej uh, the, the author and singer is using some uh, don't know how to say in English some uh, little clothes you know uh, that you put on your fingers in French it's um uh, I don't even remember the mo the word in French uh, formidable uh, but I think uh, that with uh, just uh, this uh, pick, you, you can do it as well. Alright, so this was the part A. Let's go to the part B. <laughs> well, for the part B, we will need two uh, locations. Uh, the first is uh, on the third fret, then on the fifth fret. Okay, when you use the bottleneck, you have to, to put it over uh, the, 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 the road, I think it's called like this. Uh, I mean, if you need to, to press on the third, you won't press it like the way uh, we do it uh, most of the time with the finger, uh, but over the road. Donc, if you need the, the third, you will, you, will place, you will place it there. Okay, then we will need the fifth one. So, uh, when you have found the fifth, you uh, go over the road. Alright, so in the part B uh, you will need to mute the little uh, G string because if you don't you will have a major chord and we don't want it at all. So you mute then you do this. Down up and then <laughs> what I call a schlack uh, nobody's called it like this, huh? it's just me. A schlack, it's uh, a percussion that you can have when you uh, don't struck with the, the, the pick and you stop the sound with this part of the hand to have this attack. Okay, so uh, if you don't know this technique, uh, just try it without left hand to have a muted sound of all over the, the, the strings, right? We don't want well, something like this. It's really shrink, schlack, schlack. All right. So you uh, mute the G string, then down up schlack, and then uh, we go on the third uh, fret. So down up schlack. All right. So you see, my right hand is very important. You never stop. To go down and up, down, up, down, up, down, up, schlack, three. And you'll see when I uh, play on the three, I don't play uh, directly on it. I start from below and I, I am hanging up. So, down, up, schlack, three. And then when I got my three, third, my he right hand uh, goes down. Uh, to, to, to go uh, without pressing anywhere else. So, down, up, schlack, three, down, zero, three, zero. You see, there is something like this, but you don't, uh, <laughs> don't go too far, of course, it's just to show you, but down, up, schlack, three, zero, three, zero. This is the first bar and we have four. Let's go, first one, then the second. Uh, it's almost the same. Down, up, schlack, three, down, zero, three, zero. Again, second bar. Down, up, schlack, three. So you see, I started from three or four, even the second fret. Uh, but we, <laughs> we want to have this sound. <clears throat> 
it's filling up the music. Down, uh, first and second bar. So, down, up, schlack. Three, zero, three, zero. Down, up, schlack. Five, zero, three, zero. Then the uh, third bar is like the first. Down, up, schlack. Three, down, zero, three, zero. And the last one. <laughs> Uh, it's like it's, um, rather easy. Three, 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 zero, five, five, zero, zero. <laughs> three, 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 zero, three, five, five, zero, zero. All right. Um, a walk through uh, the B part. Then we'll go further. Trois, quatre. Zero, zero, schlack. Three, zero, three, zero, 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 schlack. Five zero three zero third bar zero zero schlack three zero three zero and then three 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 zero five five zero zero that's it for the B part well now the C part it's not very hard so zero zero with a down up zero zero then I stop the sound with this hand uh, not pressing too hard because we'll have a sound and we don't want any sound. We just want to have this percussion again. Zero, zero, three, four. Zero, zero, three, four. It's uh, the moment when he, he starts singing. Uh, round and round, round we go. Oh, zero. Four. Then the answer. Three, 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 zero. Five, zero, zero. Three, 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 zero. Three, five, zero, zero. And that's the C part. So we have the zero, zero, three times. Zero, zero, two, three, four. This bar three times. Zero, zero, two, three, four. Zero, zero, two, three, four. Then the answer. Three, 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 zero. That's it. And now the D part. Uh, it's very nice. You put. Oh, sorry. Well, now the last part, the D one. Uh, it's very nice. I just love it. It goes like this. The first stroke you strum everything with this one on first uh, fret on the G string. Then it goes like this. You attack the D string. Ah, it goes like this. Okay, down up, small movements. We have two, so uh, again, then you use your pinky on the third fret of the D string, then uh, the, the <laughs> this one on the second, second uh, fret of the D string, and pinky again on the third third of the A string right so again the second bar showing again two three maybe you can see with with uh, this thing Goes like this 
again with the bottleneck. Uh, you place the pinky third fret of the G string index on the first fret of the A string. It goes like this. So nice. Then this finger major. I don't know how you say in English. Uh, there, it's not very easy, but that's life, huh? you know. Uh, third fret of the A string, and you keep uh, you keep the pinky on the third of the G string. So without it again, so the end, and and it will be good. And then you'll go back to the B part. All right. Now I'm going to show you how it goes uh, from the start to the end. So let's see now the whole structure and I think you'll be able to play this song. You'll tell me, I hope, huh? Uh, three, uh, A part, two times, fourth beginning. Three, four. Second A, you start hitting the floor very hard. Three, four. And you won't stop your feet, and you, will, you won't stomp your feet anymore till the end of the song. again and the C and then the B part again and the C and then the D four times so let's go on to the D uh, maybe uh, the C the, the last C uh, <laughs> what you see on your screen uh, followed by the D three four And then again a B and a C, and then again a B and a C. Plays again the intro two times the A. Uh, going from it to the end, uh, plays. So let's go A part two times, a little bit faster. Three, four. and it will be the end well. Well, that's 
that's it. You get the, the whole song. Uh, so have very much fun with it. And remember, when you hit the floor, you hit the floor, all right? You, you think uh, uh, John Lee Hooker and uh, you'll, get the, you'll get the energy, okay? Uh, it was nice to be here with you, quite an experiment to, for me to do it uh, in English, hope it was not too hopeful. Uh, leave me some comments if you want and to tell me if uh, it was understandable. Well, thank you and uh, see you later, alligator! <laughs> Always wanted to say this. Okay, see you next time, bye-bye!